former mayor of Maywood, now an activist. Felipe Aguirre has been visiting households in Maywood to raise awareness about the worsening air quality in his city and the widespread health impacts it's having on local residents. My son and my wife both have asthma. My daughter and I both have high blood pressure and diabetes. Right here on our street, many trucks pass by as we have a few factories adjacent to us and these trucks cause the pollution. They live right next to Vernon, an industrial zone with several factories, warehouses and a non-stop traffic of diesel trucks, making air pollution one of the main concerns for the community. All that smoke goes out into the air, along with the climate uh, crisis that we have on an ongoing basis, plus the wildfires that we just finished having here in California. You know, it makes it for a toxic stew. He and his team routinely collect data in different parts of the city, looking at truck emissions, a major contributor to California's critical smog problem. California has taken landmark decisions to phase out of combustion engine vehicles by 2035 and allow only zero emission trucks by 2045. The move aims to reduce carbon emissions that trigger global warming while also reducing air pollution. Environmental scientists say climate change and air pollution are directly related. The American Lung Association found U.S. air pollution increased in 2015, 2016 and 2017, three of the world's top five warmest years on record. Climate change is causing hotter weather in California. That hotter weather creates more smog and that smog has direct impacts on the public health. So climate change is having an impact on whether or not we can have clean air. The Trump administration has been rolling back on environmental regulations by reducing the nation's auto emission standards and even attempting to take away California's autonomy in setting its own tougher limits on emissions, going against everything Felipe has been working for. Well, we want more resources for the health of the people. We want to prevent these companies from polluting. We want the government to put resources into creating what's called a Green New Deal so that we can do projects to clean up the environment, create good paying jobs, you know, and not have to uh, rely on fossil fuels, not have to rely on things that pollute us, that create uh, health problems. But California's efforts in curbing the carbon emissions and pollutants may only have a limited worldwide impact if unsupported by national and global policies. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Maywood, California.